I have a mystery illness, but the grind doesn't stop, so I'm still giving you guys a video this week. But I just apologize if I sound a little bit sick. Speaking of sick, I'm gonna show you guys how to make sick melodies on your phone. Also, if, I, if I'm if i looking over here, it's because I have the Lakers Warriors game on my computer, so I'm doing a little bit of multitasking. To follow along with this video, we're gonna be using this app called Oxy, which is like a DAW for your phone. And so if you want, you can go and download it, and then you can follow along with the tutorial you know I'm making a melody on my phone and you're making a melody on your phone too but anyways that's it's spelled a u x y this isn't sponsored or anything I just like the app so if you want go ahead and get it and then we'll get into the tutorial all right we got the app open the first thing you want to do is just hit new project and then you're gonna hit the little gear icon up in the top right this is where all the settings live you can change the tempo you can add swing and you can also change what key it's in because in oxy everything when you're in the piano roll is going to be in key so you want to set the key in the settings we're gonna say C and we'll leave it on minor and we'll make the BPM let's say 129 now we're just gonna click done now we want to add a sound you want you want to get a sound in here so you're gonna click instrument melodic sounds and now you can either go through the categories or the different sound packs they have now there's a free version of this, but if you want all the sounds, you have to pay them like $7 or something. So I don't know if the sounds I'm using are free or not. You know, you could go work a shift at McDonald's and then quit and then you could probably pay for um, using this. Anyways, we're gonna click on piano and keys. And I know I like this electric acoustic piano. So we're just gonna select it and then hit done in the top right and that will load the sound in. Damn, the Warriors are shitting on the Lakers. I don't know who's gonna win, we will see. Now that you got your sound loaded in, you're gonna hit that little plus icon right below the sound. And this opens up the piano roll. The piano roll is pretty similar to the FL one. Uh, in the top corner, you can click on the grid and you can change it to do triplets. Uh, if you want, you can make it chromatic so that it doesn't hold the loop in one key. That way you could add notes in there that, you know, you might want some accent notes where it isn't in key. And we can also change how long the loop is. So in the top left, you can click on the thing that says as one bar. For instance, with this loop, we want to make it four bars. So we'll click four bars, and then that way, if we just scroll to the side, you know, we got all this canvas to add a melody. Now, let's add some notes. You just click to add a note, and then you can hold on to the edge of it to drag the note out. Again, pretty similar to FL. The notes will preview when you click them, so you can get a good idea of what you're hearing. We'll just click in a MIDI, and then we'll figure out what we want to do from there. Now I like this little pattern that we got going and if you want to duplicate stuff over there's a couple ways to do that but my favorite is um, we see that this just goes on for two bars so we're just going to change it back to two bars and we're going to hit first two bars because that's the two bars that we want to keep and now we can switch it back to four bars but just hit duplicate and that will basically duplicate over what we already had. So now we have our melody looping. All right, now we want to learn how to do more stuff in here. So if you want to edit the sound, you can click on it and it'll open up this tab. You can add distortion, delay, reverb, whatever. Um, also, a lot of those you can click on the actual effect, like where it says what effect it is. We would click on distortion. You got bit crusher, you got sign shaper, you got all these different knobs. You can go in volume and in here you can EQ it. They got a high and low shelf. In the delay, they got a bunch of settings too. Honestly, it's way more in depth than a lot of mobile DAWs are. So for this sound, I, I might try doing some delay. Um, we could go one half delay, ping pong, self ducking, and you can even EQ the delay. And we'll put some more reverb and then maybe put some bit crusher on it and we'll just see how that sounds. That sounds pretty nice. Now let's get another sound in here. We're gonna click instrument again. Let's try for a lead. Let's find a lead that we like. 
try this one. And I'm gonna just turn up all the effects a bunch and hope for the best. If you turn up this ducker one, it will do like a side chain effect as if there's a kick on every one. So uh, I like that effect a lot, like fades things in. Um, so we're, we're just gonna try it in another pattern with, with this sound. I'm sorry if this video, I, I seem a little different, but I feel like whenever I get sick, you know, I, I get a little bit feeling a little weird. So um, my brain isn't what it, what it used to be. You know, I'm on the mend. We'll be back to it very soon, but shit, I gotta do this pattern. My favorite thing about Oxy, like I said, everything is in key. We don't even have to worry. We could just click random notes and it'll probably sound good. Let's get a bass going. Um, and we want this to be a two bar pattern because the bass is a two bar pattern. Because each pattern has like a different length. So this one might be two bars, but you could have another pattern that's four bars and it will just, the one that's two bars, it will just keep looping it over and over again. It's really useful in those sounds how we could just click on this one and I just put a low pass on that because the highs were a little harsh. And it was just one knob, one one click and it's perfect guys. Um, but anyways, we're gonna click in the top right again. I wanna try switching the key. And this part, it's actually better than FL. We can just drag the key thing and then just go back and it will just be changed. Everything is transposed. So shit, we want it to be an F now. I think this should have showed you guys some basics. So I'm gonna open up a new project and we're gonna try to get a little more wacky, a little more crazy. Now I'm gonna click on melodic sounds again. And if you want, you can favorite the sounds you like. So I don't really remember what I had favorited, but I guess these sounds I liked. So let's pick some of these and try making another melody. I like that one. We'll make the tempo 115, set to whatever key we want. And now we'll try doing another pattern. I like how that sounds, but I want another chord later on. So we're just gonna say four bars and duplicate it over. So now we got it looping four times. And now we can have the last two have a different chord. And now I'm just gonna put some delay on here. Try going in the settings and making the delay crazy. We'll turn it up. I'll put on one half, ping pong. We could try some bit crusher on here, some reverb. Let's see how that sounds. I like how that sounds. So now we're just gonna get some more sounds, maybe a piano. I just wanna do some low octave notes. Now I'm gonna just try adding a lead. There's a plane going by. I don't know what they're up to. Let's, let's find a good lead. I'm gonna just cover a couple more workflow things because I realize uh, I haven't covered a couple simple ones. If you wanna mute a sound, you just click on the pattern and it'll mute it. If you wanna have multiple patterns, you can just click the little plus sign um, over by the sound. Uh, hopefully you can see what I'm clicking on. Uh, you probably can't, but there's the little plus sign next to the right of the patterns. You can click on that and you can add another pattern. Multiple patterns for each sound if you want. If you wanna copy a pattern, you just hold down on it. You could duplicate it, you could move it, you could label it. If you wanna copy it over though, you just duplicate it and then you move it. And see, we could have that pattern on the weed instead. Now we got the main melody on the weed. I actually kind of like that. So we're gonna add another sound and then move this pattern that we originally had on the lead over there. Just turn up all the effects and hope for the best. Now you may be wondering, 
what if I want switch ups? What if I want to arrange it? Well, if you click in the bottom left on the thing that says scene one, look, we, we got multiple arrangements. If you want, you can hold down on the first one, duplicate it as many times as you want. And then you could go in and edit each of them. And you could be like, oh, in the start, I only want that first sound. And then we could go only piano and then that. And see, we got we got a little arrangement, guys. Look at us go. Now, if you want to export it and send it to your computer, you can click in the top right and then go to export audio. Um, and you just want to click render project. And it's just going to take a second. And then you can export that. Um, it's just going to be all the sounds all at once. So if you want stems, you want to click on export project. And then you can export the stems like this. Um, I normally do individually, but I think per kit, I'm not smart enough to figure out what either of those mean. But you can you can click either of these and you'll get your stems pronto stat right away. All right, you guys get the gist of how to move around in this app. Y you know, you click in the top right, they got a bunch of settings. You click on instrument, you add an instrument, they got a piano roll. Let's try making something really cool. So this one's called Sneaky Lemming. You know, let's switch it up. Let's try using some drums. Um, you can import your own sounds and I'll do a whole tutorial if this video gets um, Seven likes I'll, I'll do a drum tutorial in here, but uh, I'm gonna just use some of their drums I like that one now look at this drum sequencer It wasn't doing what I wanted. I was hearing it in a different key. So we're making it chromatic. I've never done this before. It just makes it like a normal piano roll. So instead of helping you and keeping everything in the same key, I was just hearing it in a different key than it was in. So this is, this is what we had to do, but I'm gonna add some bass now. these over. If you hold down when you're in the piano roll, you can then drag and select stuff and move it around. So we're just going to move this over one. And this last chord just needs to be up two. That's pretty cool. Now we're just gonna go into the scenes and make a little arrangement. I realized you can just click that little plus icon to the right of the patterns and it'll automatically duplicate it over. Now we got some sections. Maybe I can start with just those chords and this lead. And then we're gonna go bass and maybe just the lead. And at the end of this one, I want the snare to come in. So I'm gonna duplicate this pattern on the drums and then go in. I think we want it to be four bars, yeah. And then have it only have the drums at the end. So we're gonna delete all the rest of these drums. We don't need them. All right, I don't know how to delete all of them at once. So I'm gonna just click on each of them to delete them. But there's definitely an easier way to do that. What am I doing, man? I'm doing a tutorial and I don't even, it's an intuitive app. You know, if you go in there and you mess with it, you're gonna make cool shit. At least I can help with a little bit of it. I feel like my job is just to prove that you could make cool stuff with these tools. Honestly, that sounds pretty cool. The best use for this app is just making melodies and exporting the stems from them. But if you want to make beats in there, as you can see, you can make some beats in there. I've even made some trap stuff in there. If you guys want another video, like I said, seven likes, I'll do a drum tutorial in here. How to make FL Studio sounding drums on mobile or whatever bullshit I'll call it. I am sick. I want to go to lay down. So I'm going to just play this for the outro and go rest myself. Also, I was a hey, story time. I went and played basketball at the park with TNT and some other producers in Atlanta and all the randoms at the park fouled the, the freak out of me, guys. Look at this, man. I'm out here injured. I have an excuse to go rest for once. Lakers in six, the Heat are going to the finals and cue the outro.